Accidents in confined spaces? Maybe if you work in a mine or something. But the work I do is pretty standard. If there were a problem, I'd be able to see it. Oh, you hear about pipes flooding and gases that'll knock you out, but extra safety precautions take time. Anyway, I've never seen anybody get hurt. We're well trained, and I'm alert enough to recognize a problem if it develops. I've worked in this industry for 20 years. None of my men have ever been seriously injured. We're quick enough to handle any kind of trouble. These people obviously do their jobs well, but their response to the dangers of confined spaces ignores the reality of a potentially deadly hazard. Incidents of confined space injuries or fatalities are disturbingly similar, even though the jobs and job sites vary. June, 1988. A member of a work crew investigating a gas leak is overcome six feet underground. His foreman attempts to pull him out and is overcome as well. A passerby calls for help, but before the men can be rescued, three firemen suffer from gas inhalation. The workers die of carbon monoxide poisoning shortly after arriving at the hospital. August, 1988. A manhole worker collapses 19 feet underground when working in a sewer. A co-worker tries to tie a rope around him and is overcome. A third worker is overcome attempting rescue. By the time the firemen pull the first worker from the hole, he is already dead. Exposure to hydrogen sulfide is suspected. Every year in North America, hundreds of confined space accidents or fatalities occur in sewers, pipes, excavations, wet wells, and other confined spaces. The bottom line is workers have died in confined spaces, and death comes swiftly, silently, and often without the slightest warning. Why are these spaces so dangerous? I've been investigating confined space accidents for over 10 years. These spaces are so dangerous because employers and workers don't always understand how they can become so dangerous. I mean, if you don't think they're dangerous, you're not going to take the proper precautions. <laughs> 